Okay, so we are looking at something called the random walk problem. Uh, there is also a variation of this problem called the gambler's ruin or gambler's problem. That's available in, in, in the textbook as well. So the idea remains the same in both of these problems. There is a person that walks left or right randomly. So this person can either take a um, step towards the left or towards the right. Uh, to reach two destinations, home or jail. Okay, this is funny. And this is the starting point. So this is start. Right? Uh, one step on the left is home. And two steps on the right is jail. So those are the two destinations. There is a probability given of taking a right step. That's 1 over 2 or 0.5. And then there is a probability of taking a left step that's also 1 over 2, that's 0.5. Okay, so the probability of going right or going left is equal, right? Now, the question is asking us, what is the probability that this person will reach home? So essentially, what is the probability that the person reaches here? Now, the gambler's uh, variation of this problem could be that this is the starting point. This is the starting money that somebody puts into a gamble. And this is where he or she can double the money. And this is where he or she can lose all the money. Or there might be like two steps instead of one given to us. But, but the idea stays the same, right? Okay, so if we think about all the sequences that lead this person to, to home, because that's my question, right? Let me even write down probability that the, tr that the person will reach home. Probability... that person reaches home. So that's my goal. Okay, so what are some of the sequences that lead this person to home? Take a, a step left, right? One step. And by the way, like, like every mark that's there on the line is equal to one step that the person can take. So it could be either left or right, depending on like which direction the person randomly takes. Right, so this sequence can definitely take the person home. The other sequence would be RLL. So the person takes one right step and then two left steps reaches home again, right? Or the sequence could be RL, RLL, right? Or RL, RL, RLL, -L, and so on. So essentially RL over some, some number. So RL is repeated some number of times multiplied by L. Right, so we found some pattern. Now, we assume steps that the person takes are independent. Right? So, I can find the probability of each of these. For example, I can find the probability of, let's say, this one. Let me pick this one up. RLL, which is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Why? Because this is given, right? For each step, what is the probability? Times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2 to the 5. Right? Okay. So similarly, I could find out the probability of RLL or this one or essentially this one. Right, so this, this is something that I can do. So I'm interested in finding the probability that the person reaches home, right? And that I can get by adding the probability of all these sequences, right? So essentially finding the probability of L plus the probability of RLL plus and so on. Okay, so how do I get that? probability of going home is essentially 1 over 2 because that's L plus 1 over 2 Q all the odd ones if you look at them right plus 1 over 2 to the 5 plus and so on now I know that there is a formula to compute this right and that is if there is an A uh, and this is a series this my A is 1 over 2 divided by 1 minus 1 over 2 
squared, right? So which comes equal to two over three. Right, so the probability that the person reaches home is two third. Okay, now we can look at a more elegant solution to this problem and I'm calling that method two. So the other method that we use to solve the same problem or similar type of problems is to use the law of total probability, right? So this is another method of solving such problems. Okay, let's see what, what that is. Okay, so for all three cases of how this person uh, ends up at three different destinations can be given in this set. So either the person takes a step left, reaches home, or do a right and a right. So like all possible ways, right, to stop this, this random walk. Or go back to its original location and starts again. And so all these three are available to us. So this is the starting point. This is not the starting point. This is taking home, right? Yeah, so this is home. This is jail. And this is start, right? So these are all the possibilities that are possible in this entire experiment, right? I'm interested in the probability of reaching home, which by the law of total probability can be rewritten as probability of home or going home or H or home, whatever you want to write it, given that the person has taken this, this step left times the total probability of this step L plus the probability of home given the person has taken two right steps times the probability of taking those two right steps, right? Plus the probability of going home given that the person has taken right left times the probability of doing a right left right so i'm just like summing the entire sample space because this is how total probability of an event is defined All right so let me plug in the value so what is the probability of home um, given left it's one, right? Because you will re reach home if you take this left step. So the person is already home. And then the probability of L, as we saw earlier, is one over two, right? Now, the probability of home given RR. So now the problem itself states that if the person reaches one of the, the destination, either jail or home, there is no way coming out from there, right? So there is a zero probability of the person coming back home times probability of RR, 1 over 4, because 1 by 2 times 1 by 2, plus probability of home given RL, right? Okay, so let me first figure this out. This is 1 fourth, I know, probability of RL. What is probability of home given RL? Now, given I've taken the step uh, right and then left, I'm back to my starting point. So this here essentially is asking me to calculate the probability of home, right? Because I'm again at the starting point and I have to calculate what is the probability of getting home from there, right? So that's probability of home. Now I know that I have this linear equation and I can solve it for probability of home, right? So if I solve it for probability of home, I get two third, which is the same as the previous answer. Right, so in both situations, I get the same result. This problem, by the way, can be um, converted or slightly modified to be the gambler's um, ruin or the gambler's problem. So in that, again, I'm repeating, this This is where you start. Starting point is like what cash you have, right? And then there is a probability that's given to you. It's not necessarily one over two and one over two. It could be different, but the idea stays the same. So it could be that that the probability with which you can move forward and go towards winning could be something else and there, there, there can be like multiple steps to winning not just two and this is losing right and there could be multiple steps and some some probability of, of going towards losing but the idea to solve that problem would still be the same okay so with this i end this video thank you